Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with macaroni and cheese, the classic Thomas Jefferson style version. So I'm going to show you the basic steps to make macaroni and cheese, and then I'm going to show you in the middle of the video how to alter the recipe depending on how cheesy you want this to be. All right, so all these traditional recipes start with a roux. We're going to melt some butter in a saucepan on medium heat, and when it sings, listen to this. Hear that? When the butter sings, when you hear it start to foam and bubble, you're going to add your flour and it's going to make a very light roux, a very light colored and light textured roux. You're going to cook that on medium for about three or four minutes just to cook out the starch and the flour. I'm going to add some thyme, some cayenne, some white pepper into the roux. Now, why didn't I just add that to the finished cream sauce? Because I vaguely remember in culinary school, there's some spices and herb flavors that are oil soluble and they come out better in oil than just in liquid environment so uh, and I could be you know totally dreaming all right so I'm gonna cook that for another minute and then pour in a cup of milk whisk it in really quickly make sure the milk is cold then you won't have lumps hot roux cold milk no lumps then I'm gonna add two more cups of milk and that is going to be your basic white sauce now we're gonna bring that up to a simmer on medium heat and while it's coming up to simmer I'm gonna grate in some fresh nutmeg get yourself a fresh nut of nutmeg and grate it yourself thousand times better but if you don't put in the uh, cheap powdered stuff i'm going to put a couple drips which is different than drops of worcestershire sauce and forget about this salt to taste i'm done with salt to taste put in a teaspoon all right do not question it you'll see when that comes to a simmer it thickens up we're going to let that simmer on medium low for about eight minutes in the meantime you're going to grate your cheese i have three cups of mixed cheeses. I'm using a cheddar gouda and gruyere mixture, which is quite fantastic. Turn off the heat and add your cheese in a couple additions, saving about three quarters of a cup for the top. All right, now I had these cheeses left over, but for you, I think you should use all cheddar. That's what Thomas Jefferson used, Vermont cheddar. But to any cheeses, your favorite cheeses to work. I, I think a sharp cheddar cheese really is the best, but hey, that's just me. And with the heat off, that's just going to melt in there, and it's going to make this beautiful, creamy, cheesy sauce. So all our cheese is melted in, and the last thing here, I'm going to add a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. I don't like dry mustard. All right, so now let's talk pasta. We're going to slow things down here, because i got to talk to you people. Most of these recipes for this amount of cheese sauce are going to call for 8 ounces of pasta. I'm going to use a whole box, which is 1 pound, which makes a very, still delicious version, but not as cheesy, not as creamy, much lighter uh, much lower fat. If you want to split the difference, you put in 12 ounces. So adjusting the amount of pasta, you can really alter this recipe to your personal taste. Once you decide, make sure the pasta is well drained. Dump it in the casserole dish. No need to butter it. Don't believe the hype. It's not going to stick. Well, it might stick a little bit. It's okay. You scrape it out. You're going to pour in your cheese sauce, distribute it. Then you're going to sprinkle over the rest of the cheese. Then the secret to a perfect macaroni and cheese crust. You only want a half a cup of breadcrumbs and you want the Japanese panko breadcrumbs. You too can find them. Yes, they're in the store. Yes, don't argue. They're in the Asian section of your grocery store. Then just a tablespoon of butter. Mix it up, put it on top. That's going to adhere to that layer of cheese on top and you're going to get the best crust ever. You're going to put that in a 400 degree oven. That's kind of hot, I know. But I want the top to caramelize and brown. I mean, I'm not trying to cook the inside. I don't know why you would cook this for like an hour at, you know, 350 or a lower temperature. I'm just trying to brown the top. Everything else is cooked. At 400, that took me about 20 minutes. Just watch it when it's brown, take it out, and you're done. Perfectly crisp crust. All right, I'm going to let this cool just a little, and then I'm going to dish it out, and it is truly amazing. Now see the holes in the pasta? See that little hole there on the left, the elbow? For the one pound package of pasta, those are not going to be filled with cheese sauce. The pasta is going to be very nice, very tasty, very cheesy, but it's not going to be like running with cheese sauce. If you use the eight ounces of pasta version, you will have a lot more cheese sauce, okay? So it's up to you. Thomas Jefferson, the inventor of macaroni and cheese, also the author of the Declaration of Independence, he and our founding fathers fought for our right to put in as much or as little macaroni in our macaroni and cheese as we damn well please. So never forget the principles on which this country was founded. And that's it, macaroni and cheese. How easy was that? All right, go to the site, get the ingredients, and as always, enjoy. Enjoy.